Trigonometry on the SAT is pretty simple. There's really just one thing we need to know, and that is so ka toa. This is just a mnemonic device that's used to learn what each of the um, trig functions means, okay? So uh, this is not given to us in the geometry reference chart. It's one of the few geometry formulas or whatever you want to call it that we have to memorize. But luckily, if we see trigonometry, odds are very good that this is what we're going to use. So not only should you memorize it, but as soon as you have it, I recommend writing it on your scrap paper just so it's out of your brain. The most common mistakes people make is just flipping that O and that A because they, they kind of look similar as letters and you just kind of forget. But if you write it, I think you'll, you'll get the right thing. And in this case, they want the tangent of x, right? So tangent means TOA. And what does that actually mean? That the tangent of x is going to be the opposite side from our angle over the adjacent side. So luckily, they gave us those two sides. So if this were a harder question, we might need to use Pythagorean theorem to find the hypotenuse, but we don't need that here. The opposite of x, just go directly across the triangle, is 26. So tangent of x is going to be 26. And the adjacent is the side that makes up the angle. That's not the hypotenuse, right? Hypotenuse is kind of like the main piece of a right triangle. So we always have the hypotenuse opposite the 90 degree angle. That's always going to be the hypotenuse, no matter what other angle we're talking about in the triangle. The adjacent and opposite sides will switch depending on where we're located. But remember, the adjacent side is the side that makes up the angle that's not the hypotenuse. So that's why it's 7. And then there you go. There's no other conversion we need to do here. Nothing we need to put in the calculator. Uh, tangent of x is 26 over 7. And that is a reminder too. I know that both the Desmos calculator and if you've got one of these, it's going to have buttons for sine, cosine, and tangent. We really don't use those buttons on the SAT. Um, at least not that I've seen. Maybe there's going to be like a rogue question occasionally where you're using the, the calculator to do sine, cosine, and tangent, but not really historically has that been the case. So you're really just sticking to creating fractions using SOKOTOA, which is our mnemonic device for uh, understanding sine, cosine, and tangent, what they mean. So hopefully you have that memorized. Even if that's something, something you haven't learned in school yet, it's a very easy thing to learn for the SAT. Uh, it's, it's, there's, there's a lot of trigonometry out there in the world, but most of it is not going to be on the SAT, really just this idea. So it's an easy way to secure yourself 10 points.